What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skyma, and welcome to CN Figures. Figures in your house. And for this tour review, we're gonna look at the miraculous ladybug action figure, Lady Wi Fi. And you can see the figure inside her package with all the accessories that she comes with. And right there in the bottom, there's the name of the animation, longer with the name of the company, right there in the top. And the name of the character, right there. And we get a nice image of Ladybug right there in the top. And there's really nothing in both sides of the package. Oops, it fell down. Or both top and bottom, but in the back side, we get an image of the character herself. And we get a picture of the figure. And again, we see her name. Look at the name of the animation. Miraculous. And there's all the figures in the set that you guys can collect. All right, so enough chatting. Let's take her out. And here she is out of her box. And she looks nice. But when I took her out from the box, and I just found out... They used the exact same body mode with the day with stormy weather. But the only difference is the design. And I think the color is a little bit different. I'm not sure. Okay, so now let's get on with the accessories that this figure came with. For this figure, we only get one accessory and one effect. So you can attach it on this piece. And you can see that they use the exact same materials they did with the umbrella with stormy weather. But her phone doesn't have not a lot of detail to show around. It has a little bit right there in the bottom. I'm not sure you guys can see it. But there's really nothing in the back. And here's the pause effect that we get. And here, there's a peg so you can attach it right there in the top. And boy, this looks so good. I love it. And here's Lady Y5 again. But I don't know why they make her suit all purple. And the show is all black. Well, at least they got the white color part right. And also the design, like right here on her chest, you can see the Wi-Fi symbol. And also right here in the bottom of her waist, all around the back. And we get a little bit of purple colored lines in both arms and also on the legs. But they're not sculpted. And, well, the hands, they, they came out kind of okay. Like, you can see the fingers and the thumb in each hand and there's really nothing to talk about on her white color boots like not a single sculpt or heel anything well i think she has a little bit of sculpting right here on her chest and not a lot on her waist and i think we do get a little bit of black color around her neck there's really nothing on her arms her legs and especially on her back. Well, we do get a little bit of muscles. That's pretty much it right there. Now, let's take a good look of her head sculpt. And my bad, guys. She doesn't have any black color on her neck. But I do like to use this nice color orange for her hair and her lips. But why her hair is all orange? You know in the TV show, she has her hair all brown. But I really like all this nice sculpting. It looks so good good and right here in the bottom we get a little bit of light color and right here in the top we get a little bit of dark color and we see more sculpting like this line right there in the top of her hair and also more sculpting in the front side and okay you know that her mask is not purple it's all black but i'm okay with it and we get a little bit of orange color in each eye and a little bit white and you can see her mole and her face is all sculpted like the nose the lips and also the mask and also all around this figure's face like where is the hair is now let's get on with her articulation you can move her head side to side a complete rotation and she doesn't look down or up but you can open her arms this much and we get some rotation and each one around and we don't get any double joint around her elbow but we get a little bit swivel but no wrist articulation or bibbit same thing for no torso or waist and you can only open her legs this much kick a lot from the front and a little bit from the back and we get some double jointed on the knees but no rotation or anything around the legs especially on the ankle 
Comparing size, but first let's see how tall this figure stands. She stands just exactly five and a half inches tall. And here she is with my first miraculous figure that I had, Queen B. And I think that these two figures they stand the exact same height. And here she is with my Stormy Weather. And I think Lady Y5 is a little bit taller than Stormy Weather. And here she is with my Ladybug figure. And I think she's also a little bit taller than Ladybug. And here she is with my Fairy Marvel Celeste Thanos. And there you have it, guys. I know this figure is very great, but they're not really posable. But none of that doesn't really matter for me. I really like all the nice work, all the nice paint, and all the nice design they've done with this piece. Let me know which character is your favorite one in the series. Mine is Queen Bee and Roy Singh. Alright guys, this is all for today. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share it, go ahead. Be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel for more videos, like my toy hunts and my toy reviews. And please follow my Facebook page, C and Figures. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And I got you guys on the next video. So take care, be safe, keep on hunting, keep on collecting. This is CN Skaima and Lady Y5, and we're out in line. Oh, and one more quick announcement, guys. Today is my little sister's birthday. If you guys want to wish her a happy birthday, leave it in the comments.